Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to another eFootball 2023 video. Today I want to look at the mid-season MVPs for the nominating contracts. This is where you can pick up players using your nominating contracts. And yeah, basically, let's take a look and see who's worth picking up. So let's take a look at Pedri. Now you can level all of these players up how you want. So we can see here that Pedri's got 28 levels. And honestly, if he's anything like his sort of GP version, then this is a quality player to have in your side. Absolutely incredible, great dribbler. And if you've just checked out my recent dribbling tutorial, if you haven't already, go do that because he is actually one of the players I will recommend. And you can sort of see how I've leveled him up and why he feels so good when I dribble with him. But yeah, one touch passing, three passing, pinpoint crossing, means he can play either in the center, in the attack midfield, in the wide areas. He's great at every area that he's strong in. He's a creative playmaker, so he's going to be further fit sort of forward and honestly he is absolutely brilliant great balance great type possession ball control low passing honestly i would just focus on boosting his those sort of areas of dribbling the type possession the ball control maybe add a little bit more balance to him so pretty sort of increase that acceleration and speed just a little bit but just keep it around the same so you've got like you know six points difference and for his uh you know you could improve his finishing but i think stick to his passing and make him more of a playmaker rather than a finisher. Next is Gabriel Jesus, another recommendation, easy recommendation here for me. Just boost his offensive awareness, his speed, his dribbling, and maybe his finishing, just so he is going to be a very, very good finisher. But more importantly, you want to try and boost that finishing uh, at least above 80 if I were you, because uh, that's where you want to sort of make him strongest but he's got great balance good speed acceleration that offensive awareness boosts that as well so that's going to boost his acceleration anyway as that's part of the uh the balance and acceleration offensive awareness all comes under dexterity so yeah definitely boost those and you're going to have a very very lethal striker on your hands we'll just take a look at his player skills heading is a nice one to have unexpected for him to be honest but he's also got acrobatic finishing first time shot those are absolutely vital in my opinion when in Balls are crossed into the box. He's a goal poacher, so he's going to play on the last man. That's why I said boost his acceleration and speed. And also his dribbling, because obviously that depends or determines how fast he travels when he's got the ball. So you need to keep that up alongside the dri uh, the speed and acceleration. Jilifo, and he is a support striker, but he can pretty much play anywhere. If you just look in the top right hand corner, you can see where he can play. And honestly, a really good dribbler. Good acceleration and speed disparity, good dribbling. Again, I would focus on boosting his dribbling and his speed and acceleration and perhaps give him some output. So his finishing is kind of low. So if we just take a look at his abilities, you can see he's got pinpoint crossing. So I'd probably focus on boosting that lofted pass over his finishing because that's going to take more points to get over. And honestly, he's going to be a very, very, very nice playmaker, I think, if you were to do that because you're going to boost his passing. He's also got great skills scissor faint i love double touch i love those two like i said in my ultimate dribbling tutorial they are two of the key sort of skills especially online because the scissor faint allows you to turn sharper the double touch we need to i don't need to explain how good that is online and he's also got the super sub as well so he cannot come off the bench and do some serious damage and just remember this player is a four star player so very very nice use of your four stars in all honesty trossard i mean he's another four star player but i can't really recommend him over the last guy we looked at because you know his finishing is better i mean if you if you want a finisher over perhaps a playmaker then trossard may be the way to go but he is lacking in skills and for that reason alone i can't really recommend him as a four star player i'm, I, I'm not even gonna have a go at saying this guy's name kva <laughs> i'm just gonna call him kva um to be honest i've had him in the past he's very limited into where he can play he's not overly great in terms of the way he feels but you have got 34 levels to level him up with i know there are some people out there that say he feels great but look at his lofted passing and his finishing it's so low that you're gonna have to put a lot of points in that just to get that up as well looking at his player skills he hasn't got any sort of passing or pinpoint crossing he's got lots of skills which is great so he's gonna be a more of a dribbler but that end product is really lacking for me and that is for that reason i certainly can't recommend him being a five-star player. Kieran Trippier is a solid right back, good defensively and offensively. Now, he isn't the best 
you know, isn't the best right back, obviously, is Trent Alexander-Arnold. And for four stars, I think that is probably a little bit excessive, but he has got the stats in the right places. And what I mean by that, he's got lofted passing, curling. He's got fairly decent kicking power. I'll try and boost that as well as um, those other two stats I just mentioned, along with maybe his stamina and his speed just to get down the wings. But yeah, he has got some decent stats, but his player skills are rather lacking in comparison to the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold, who has got the one-touch passing. He does like that. He has got low lofted passing and pinpoint crossing. Pinpoint crossing, obviously, the key one, but a lot of fullbacks have that ability. So, not really a player I can recommend, in all honesty. Simmons. Now, he is a three-star player, and honestly, this guy looks absolutely insane. He is definitely going to be another three-star pick that I'm going to make because looking at his skills, one-touch passing, he's got good skills as well. Double-touch, Marseille, Sombrero. I love all of those skills. They're good fun to use online especially. But looking at his stats, tight possession, I would try and boost that along with his dribbling, his ball control. Keep the acceleration and speed disparity around the same. I really do like this guy. He's a whole player and he can play a sort of attack midfield position. I'm really looking forward to seeing just how much I can sort of use him and and get out of him because uh really going to fit well into my under 23 squad build which i'm going to try and host uh you know every monday wednesday and friday so be sure to change, stay tuned and you'll probably end up seeing this guy in my team nico williams another really good player but for four stars i just think that's too excessive he's got no sort of output but he's very fast but in all honesty, I would definitely pass on this guy. I don't like the speed acceleration disparity. I hate the speed being above the acceleration. Yes, you can boost it up so that the acceleration fits above the speed. But yeah, his, his end product is absolutely naff. Looking at his skills, he is a skiller more or less. He hasn't got any one-touch passing or through passing. For me, for four stars, an easy pass. Timber up next, a three-star midfielder. Not overly well, you know, not really overwhelming but three stars 78 rated and honestly one touch passing through passing is good to have he hasn't got sort of any interception skills so you know whilst he is box to box offensively he's going to be slightly better than defensively his defensive awareness isn't all that great so to be honest for me three stars is he worth it no i think there's better three star players out there in all honesty so a pass for me on that one scalvini is a center back i have used in the past and he is pretty decent you know defensive awareness is really good he is really slow though so if you are going to use him and he's got really good sort of height then i would recommend having someone alongside him who's very very quick but honestly he's only got aerial superiority as player skill and for that reason alone i can't recommend him even as a three-star player and finally one more three-star player is sotoka and to be honest, if you boost his defensive awareness, he might be able to do a job, but his finishing and his heading is really low. He is quite a tall player, and looking at his player skills, heading, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, I can't really recommend him. He is, he's got a good um, split between his sort of abilities, so he's going to be good in the air and on the ground, but as a goal poacher, they're not all that great for getting on the end of crosses, as I already pointed out with my Fox in the Box tutorial. So you know, if you want to sort of get an idea of who's better at receiving crosses, then I would recommend a fox in the box. So yeah, not really a player I can recommend. So if we just go back to these, the players I would recommend or easy recommendations, Pedri, Jesus, and then I would probably go for Simmons. Those are my top three picks. The rest, you can probably much pass on. Anyway, that's all for this video, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.